Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the J-Man, and I'm finally back here today with some brand new wrestling figure reviews. Since Survivor Series was just recently, and three major superstars returned, I figure let's go back all the way to Survivor Series 1990 to when The Undertaker debuted, along with his manager at the time, Brother Love. For today I have from Mattel's WWE Ultimate Edition Collection Series and the Target Exclusive Legend Series, we have The Undertaker and Brother Love. This Undertaker came with the Gobbledygooker in an Amazon exclusive 2-pack. I got the 2-pack, but I did not want the Gooker. I just wanted the Undertaker. And then I figured, since I got debut Black Love Undertaker here in Ultimate Edition form, I might as well get his debut manager. Brother Love from Legend Series 19. Since I now have this much, much improved gray gloved slash black gloved debut Undertaker, I can now have him replace one of my really old Elite Undertaker figures, which I will show off in a comparison later in this video but before i rip open both of these epic looking figures out of their packagings let's take a closer look at each one since this is an exclusive ultimate edition figure the colors on the packaging are inverted so it's dominantly red and just slightly white all those accessories taker comes with it's everything you need minus an urn or a championship, but that's okay. Ultimate Edition, Ultimate Articulation for Authentic Posability, Undertaker. And over here, a very scary picture of a very young Undertaker. And on the back, you can see Taker with Brother Love, just like what I have here, because they're in figure form, which I think is kind of cool that they did that. And there is Undertaker when he debuted with the black gloves. Damn, look how young he was. It's even got the old logo here. Six foot ten. He is from Death Valley. His finisher was the Tombstone. And he was WWE Champion. I guess they're trying to be accurate with how many championships he won when he looked like this. Because he definitely won more titles than that way after this picture was taken. When the Million Dollar Man introduced the world to the mystery member of his Survivor Series 1990 team, a massive man with dead eyes stalked to the ring. Chills of fear crawled up the spines of everyone in the WWE Universe. From that moment forward, all those who crossed paths with Undertaker would rest in peace. Something I almost didn't see, instead of the current WWE logo, the packaging has the classic WWE logo from the time Undertaker debuted, which I think is a really nice touch. Speaking of a nice touch with the packaging, when I get them open, I will show you the little hidden messages it has inside. Now, Brother Love. And in case you didn't know, Brother Love is really Bruce Pritchard who is like the head writer guy behind the scenes of WWE, which he still is to this day. Love him or hate him. Here's the packaging. Look how red his face is. Look how happy he is. Because he loves you. Yes, he does. Of course he loves you. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about Brother Love. He was around way before I started watching. All I know is that he was 
a manager, and a preacher. Here is on the back. In the world of WWE, many can bring the pain, but only one man can bring the love. That man is the red-faced, swarmy preacher of the gospel of love, Brother Love. As host of the Brother Love show, Brother Love made it his mission on earth to spread the word of love to each and every WWE superstar. Why? Because he loves you. And here is he getting the line. Undertaker, Brother Love, D'Lo Brown, and Kaba Mustafa. But now, without any further delay, let's get Ultimate Edition debut Undertaker and Brother Love out of their respective packagings. And I shall do that by bringing the love. Come on, everybody. Let's bring the love. Bring the love. Bring the love. Come on. And thank the power of love for getting these two figures out of their packagings. Speaking of, here is the message in the top of Taker's packaging. Rest in peace. And the bottom, the dead man. And that's it. But before we take a closer look at the figures, let's take a closer look at all the accessories they come with. Let's start off with Brother Love. Counting the glasses, he comes with this book, the Book of Love. Very nicely detailed for a book accessory. See all the gold on the book, the spine, the cover, all the letters. It's raised too. See a flower, the pages. And the back. You cannot open it, but visually, this looks good. And you can hold it too. It comes with this giant microphone that looks like a flashlight. Big, thick, and white. Giggity. And on the top, you could see where he would speak into on the top of the microphone. He comes with two pairs of interchangeable hands. A pair of mic holding hands and a pair of gesturing hands and all four hands have these really cool rings sculpted on them they are painted very nice and you can see all the nice detail and lastly his glasses which will be lost very easily we can see the lenses and they are colored kind of very dark brown or red it's kind of hard to tell but it does match the figure Especially when you put the glasses on his face. Speaking of his face, here is his bright red face with the glasses on. Here he is again with the glasses off. You can definitely see the likeness to Bruce Pritchard, very spot on. He's got a very dark mullet. From what I remember, he actually had blondish hair. Don't know why they went with this color for his hair. But regardless, he has a red shirt on. There's a little bit of red missing right between the collar here. It may touch that with some red paint in the future. He's got a white tie on. He has a red shirt on, white jacket, and white pants with white shoes and black soles. And here's the back of Brother Love. Now on to Taker's accessories. First, we have his two interchangeable heads. This one, which we have seen before, on the Decade of Domination Taker. If looks can kill, this would be it. And this one, which I believe is brand new, is a teeth gritting, get the hell out of my way before I put you in the ground face. Both of them use true effects, of course. The same beard. Same long brown mullet. Now the biggest complaint about this figure is the skin tone. Because everyone knows that Taker, especially around this time period, is supposed to be ghostly pale. If I do a quick comparison, as you can see, to me anyway, accurate, not accurate. Take a look at the arms. 
Accurate? Not accurate. Taker? Hulk Hogan. Brother. I think I'm going to display him with this one. What would Taker be without his entrance tie? You see all the nice details? It's gray, but it's got like a little bit of blue, which makes it stand out. Once again, for comparison, Decade of Domination, Undertaker. This one's definitely more gray. It's got the stripes, just like this. Not exactly, but I love both. And here is Taker's entrance hat. It's the standard black hat. I don't know what this part's called, but it's very thin. I say that because, once again, Decade of Domination, Taker. This part is much taller, thicker. It's got a faux buckle there, I believe. Next is his entrance jacket. Thank the Lord, it is not rubber. But it's not 100% fabric. It's got this rough textured. It's the same one that came with the purple gloved Undertaker Elite which I'm not going to reach and grab. And last, but certainly not least, the biggest selling point of this figure is the interchangeable gauntlets and gloves. So you got your gray gauntlets for your gray gloves, and they are lettered. So this one says R for right. So you know it goes on the right wrist. You got gray Weapon holding gloves, and they are sculpted gloved hands. They're not just regular hands painted, like the Decade Domination. Take your figure. You got the gesturing hands. Same thing with the black gloves. Looking at these gloves gives me an idea. Bring back the Decade Domination Taker. One thing I did not like were these hands, which are black painted hands, as you can tell. Let's see if these hands work with this figure. If they do, regardless, this will be my gray gloved taker. This will be my black gloved undertaker. Yep, they work perfectly. This figure just became that much better. With the gray gloves on, let's take a closer look at the taker figure. Love how that face looks on this body. Just so menacing. He is wearing his button-down black shirt with the sleeves torn on top. Since this is debut, or slightly after debut, Undertaker, he has absolutely no tattoos. Is that amazing? It's hard to imagine or remember a time where Taker had no tattoos on his arms or anywhere else. His entire attire is black, minus the gray gloves. And of course, those really awesome boot covers, which I think ties into the whole Western mortician perfectly. It's just that little extra touch that goes a long way. It's very unique. And I don't think anyone ever used this before or after him. And here is the back of... The Undertaker. Now, for a quick comparison, here is the Decade of Domination Undertaker with the glove fix up that I just did, and the WrestleMania 31 Heritage Elite Undertaker with a custom fix up. He actually came with a rubber jacket, gave him this one, gave him the WWE Championship. And I made a mistake earlier when I compared this hat because the hats were on the wrong bodies. But actually, let me take these back off. Just look at the different face scans and sculpts between the three. This one has no true effects. You can tell these two have it and they're accurate. But the skin tone is so off on this one that it makes this one look even paler by comparison. Let me now fully accessorize this Taker figure and do one more important comparison. Here he is all accessorized. 
looking pretty damn cool. And for that final important comparison, not one, but two pallbearers. And yes, I will be getting the new Elite Paul Bearer figure when it comes out. This is the Build-A-Figure Paul Bearer, and this one is the Hall of Champions Paul Bearer. And now you can recreate that moment from Survivor Series 1990 when Taker debuted and Brother Love was right behind him. And recreate that other iconic moment when... Brother Love introduced Taker's new manager, Brother Bearer. And I remember he asked this question, Brother Bearer, what's your first name? And then he said, Paul. Paul Bearer. And it was at this moment, a legendary career really took off. But... That is it for my review of both Legends Series 19, Brother Love, and the Amazon exclusive 2-pack Ultimate Edition Undertaker. Tell me, what do you guys think? And which version of Taker do you prefer? Debut Black Gloves or slightly later on Grey Gloves? Personally, I prefer the gray gloves. But tell me what you think down in the comments below. But until the next figure or figures I review, I will see you soon. And you know why? Because I love you.